So in this video, I'm going to be creating God rays effect using fog and volumetrics in Corona Render. So let me first of all start my interactive render. All right. The first thing I want you to establish is I want you to establish a strong contrast between light and shadows. I'm going to add a strong light source and I'm going to be using Corona Sun for that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw it and I'm going to raise it up. Okay. All right. So the next thing you have to do is you have to draw a box and then you are going to apply the volumetric material on it. I'm going to come over here at the great, uh, create and then create a box. And this box, the rule is that this box is going to cover everything in your scene apart from the camera and the sun. That's the way it works for me. When you put it, you see it's going to block everything. It's okay. What we are going to do is we are going to open our material editor and then we are going to bring out the Corona volumetric material select it and apply it okay when we do that it is going to open up again absorption is like the intensity of this fog so when i release it like so and i come over here and i add like say 100 i'm going to see you're not seeing anything but if i should make it 1000 it will open up a bit so if i make it 5000 now so with this you control the intensity of the fog that we are going to apply in this scene Okay, so if I come over here and I make it white, you see it opened up even more. So the color is like a slider intensity that I used to control how much light enters the scene and how much light is hindered from entering the scene. So I'm going to make this like 51. Okay, make it 51. And then on this other side, I'm going to increase the lighting of this one and make it, you know, pronounced. All right, so for us to be able to set up, you can see that our fog and our God ray is already showing. So for us to be able to set up this scene very well and see exactly what we are dealing with, there's something we need to go and add in our renders setup. So I'm going to stop this for now and I'm going to open render setup. So in the render element, okay, you might be here. Just go, come over here to the render element. You click on add. Add. Okay, you will see, see essentials volumetric, please. Add that for me and then you close it back. All right. So I'm going to start interactive rendering again. When I do that, I come down here, you're going to see what we just added, the C essential volumetrics. So when you select it, you're going to see exactly how the light is behaving in this scene. Okay. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to add like 0.3. That is going to like blow out some things for you, make the light look more realistic in this scene so this is obviously too much we need to reduce the intensity of this volumetric so i'm going to make this like say ten thousand. so when i make it ten thousand, you realize that the whiteness in the background reduce a little so i'm going to make it fifteen thousand. okay we need to do it in such a way that at the end of the day at the end of the day we have something we are going to be seeing the light and at the same time we are also going to be seeing this hour okay scattering now like i told you absorption is used to control the intensity scattering is used to control the color of this fog so if i come here and i make it green we're going to have the green a green colored fog coming into this space so i'm just going to cancel it now it's time for us to establish our strong strong contrast between light and shadows so i'm going to select this SSOT. i'm going to delete it i'm going to add first of all i'm going to add this um highlight compressor compression and i'm going to make it to i'm going to reduce this one okay i'm going to reduce it to six four i'm going to make this like five all right i'm going to make this one like five five okay for this one i'm going to make it minus 0.5 all right you can see that it's beginning to take shape but that's not all we're going to be adding something new now i want to add lut okay and i also want to add film filmic mapping so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make it one. Okay, that is going to do something. I'm, I'll add this. Okay, now that I've added it, you see the effect of it. But it's too much. I'm going to reduce it to like 0.6. Okay, or 0 0.5. 0 0.6 is still okay. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, I see the same thing. Now, there's something else I want to add. I want to add the vignette. Okay, when I add this, I'm just going to make it like one. It's going to add that, you know, blackness around the edges. Okay, let me see if I make this six. I think six is better. All right, you can already you can see the volumetric effect, the God ray effect coming in through this window. All right, so you see how easy and simple it is 
to be able to create this effect using fog and volumetrics in Corona Renderer. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials because I drop videos like this on a regular basis. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.